We're so back with another alpha male banger. Some of you may remember that we made a video about the Modern Day Night Project. The Modern Day Night Project is an alpha male boot camp where grown men pay thousands of dollars to be yelled at by wannabe drill sergeants. These weak little boys subject themselves to a 75 hour crucible where they just do a bunch of man stuff to turn into battle hardened warriors, you know, like the classics, playing in the mud, jumping in ice baths, and getting yelled at by fake marines. Now although the modern day night project, or the MDK project for short, is a banger in its own right, today we're talking about its younger brother, aka the Squire Program. The Squire Program is a 15 hour father son bonding experience for the small price tag of $1,900. The creators of both of these programs are Bedros Koulian and Ray Cash Care. But neither of those men are actually important. And of course, they hire some, you know, peons to do their bidding, but for the most part, it's these two running the show. Let's see what the Squire program is all about. The Squire program is a byproduct of where our country is headed. And while the opposition has been winning some battles, they will not win the war. What is the opposition? <laughs> Who are we fighting against? You're playing in the sand. You're not solving any masculinity crisis that you cling on to ever so dearly. Men work hard. Men sweat. Sometimes getting a task accomplished is pain. Sometimes getting a task accomplished is jumping into an ice bath. Just gotta do some hard work and sweat. That's what it means to be a man, baby. You gotta get yourself to that place of discomfort and then you just gotta keep going and going and going. You as fathers have a responsibility to role model to your sons what a savage servant looks like. How he lives, how he trains, how he eats, how he treats his spouse, how he treats his kids. Ever since I was young, I always wanted to grow up and be a savage servant. What's happening, friends? Hope you guys are doing great. This is the Squire program. We've got 30 young men here, 13 to 15 years old. Off the bat, these dudes just pissed me off. You know who I'm talking about. The TRT NPCs, the full grown men who hop on steroids and develop a god complex. The guys that act hard, but actually would fold like a lawn chair. They get hand tattoos and wear all black and active camo as if they're in the military, but have never seen a day of combat in their entire life. And they are going through the Squire program with their fathers. The fathers right now are on the other side of the hill. They will get reunited in the next 30 minutes. However, right now, Instructor Ray is putting them through some physical evolutions. I just can't wrap my head around the fact that grown men, fathers, paid other men to tell them to crawl up a hill behind a Walmart parking lot. This message will always remain true, no matter what age you are. See what Mr. Bedros Koulian has to say about this. Who you choose as a wife will determine your success or failure. Coach, I don't even know what position I'm gonna play. So, as you are choosing girlfriends, figure out, am I choosing crazy? Am I choosing emotional? Am I choosing reckless? Look at these poor nematodes in the back, bro. They're literally 9, 10, and 11 years old. You think they're thinking about this abstractly? Oh, I wonder what my future spouse and wife is gonna be like. No, they're thinking about Lunchables and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Or am I choosing someone who could be equally yoked as me? Who you choose as a wife determines success or failure in a man's life. These poor kids, man. Their dad's just subjecting them to this torture. Having to sit through probably another scorned man's idea of what it means to be a man. In case you forgot us, a message to our young Americans. I once heard Ben Shapiro say this. He said, hey, whoever the, at the time, whoever the current MLB champions were, he said, that team, that team, they're the best of all teams in baseball. You know, it's funny you say that because I remember Ben Shapiro also saying that vaginas aren't supposed to get wet. He says it doesn't mean that, that every player and that every play is the best, but that team is. So if you've been indoctrinated in some way from the system. <laughs> Man's talking about indoctrination, but starts his sentence as, I heard Ben Shapiro once say that America is not the best. If you've been told from YouTube, from your school system, from social media, that America's wrong, I'm here to tell you it's not. I am here to indoctrinate you. Use your hands, dig, dig, come on, dig, faster. Get your face down, low, dig, dig, come on. Back, 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 pass him, 
Run him over. Run him over. Go. Go, Austin. Run him over. Lay down. Lay down and beat him. Lay down and beat him. Beat him. Just crawl over him. Who gives a shit? Come on, go. Harder, harder. Get the poker trip. Go. Come on, go, Lee. Beat him. Beat him. Get lower and get nastier. Go. On your back. On your back. Back, back, back. Lee, switch. I'm going to be honest. I like to think I'm a fully grown man now. I'm 25 years old. I have never had to crawl in mud. Ever. We've all heard it. Tough times create strong men. Let's try this again. Start Go. crawling. Go. Oh. Yeah. Guys, if your stomach is not all the way down. Dude, I swear Ray Cash Care is just absolutely gay for mud. I don't get it. This guy saw mud one time and was like, this is going to be my entire personality trait. There's no way the whole front of your shirt is not covered in mud by now. If it is, you're just in a little bit. Listen, if you get to that side, if your shirt's not dirty, we're gonna start there and go there. I love how they're just in a random industrial park. That's gotta suck, knowing that actual civilization is just around the corner. These obstacle courses look like they're all fun and games, but you know what would make them 10 times better? If I did them wearing my stylish waterproof shoes. Which is why today's video is sponsored by Vessi. Vessi solves all of your footwear problems when it comes to looking good, feeling comfortable, and staying dry. First of all, Vessis are 100% waterproof, but don't let that fool you because they're straight drip. Personally, I went with the Weekend Chelsea in the asphalt black on black colorway, but Vessi has a ton of different styles and colorways, so it won't be that hard to find the perfect match for you. For this outfit, I paired them with some cargo pants and an all black fit. I'm like a waterproof ninja right now, are you kidding me? The first thing I noticed was how comfortable these shoes are. They actually stretch dynamically to the different movements in your feet, so it barely feels like you even have shoes on. I live in New York, and quite honestly, I can't wait to wear these all fall and winter. But interestingly enough, all Vessis are made with Dymatex technology that are designed to keep you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. If you want the best shoe for whatever life throws at you, check out the styles at Vessi.com slash Filion and use code Filion for 15% off your order. And thank you to Vessi for sponsoring this video. Let's see what Mr. Clean has to say. Fucking Johnny Sins over here. Crawl, go crawl. None of you? None of you. None of you. Nobody wants to laugh. Ask a question. No, that wasn't even a trick question. That was a serious question. Like, Anybody who wants to crawl? go get? Who wants to go crawl? Who wants to go have some fun and go crawl in the fucking mud? None of you. You all just want to stand there. You came here to stand here. Anyone, you can just go do it. The rest, of you can just stand there and watch them if you want. Anyone that wants to go and get some more work in, go get some work. <laughs> They're all just slowly turning around to go crawl in the mud because they have nothing else to do. We're not telling them to go. Second thoughts. Are you kidding me? You walked over there and then walked back over here? Yeah, we're not telling them to go. We're just using elite military reverse psychology on them. Us telling them to go crawl in the mud? Never. What are you doing? What are you going back and forth for? Get out there, boy! It was a trick question, you failed! <laughs> Miserable kill <man. laughs> Now this <laughs> is a lawsuit waiting to happen. You already know they had to sign like a 50 page pamphlet, or maybe they didn't. Maybe they're just free balling this. They have two by fours with literal nails sticking out, barbed wire, the kids are blindfolded, and they have to follow their father's guidance. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> What if their shoelaces are untied? <laughs> Poor little Johnny doesn't know his right from left. <laughs> Just absolutely curb stomps the two by four. This one is so good. I am a man. I am a warrior. Who are you? I am a man. I am a man. I'm a warrior. Oh, my name is Phil. I am a man. I am a warrior. I'm Aiden. I'm a man of a warrior. This is it. We live here. This is where we live. This is where we live. 
<laughs> Yo, you can't make this up. <laughs> Oh, we got Bedros Koulian going on another power trip. The average man inspires no one. Fix the details. I didn't become a multimillionaire by avoiding the details. Fix the details. I didn't become a multimillionaire avoiding the details. I became a multimillionaire by scamming you. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This is 100% a skill issue. If you, as a man, are duped into spending two grand to bond with your son behind a Walmart parking lot, you, my friend, are dumb and deserved to be scammed. Throughout the day, throughout your life, if you don't, it becomes a bear trap because then you begin to accept average and the average man inspires no one. Yeah, fuck yeah. The Squire program was mother awesome that it brought that out of you got you to stand up and nut up and actually initiate a tough conversation with your father actually get feedback from him ask him for feedback about yourself give him feedback about him he needs it from you you are his coach you are his hero you think that's bullshit this guy's answer to being a real man is discovering curse words for the first time do what you think is right when there's eyes watching you but when there's not you'll be a, a, a little bag and do whatever the you want real discipline is what the you do and who the f you are when no one is watching. It's just the shittiest way to LARP as a tough guy. Restoring masculinity, patriotism, and brotherhood. Like, let's get our shit together. Let this be the fucking springboard to light the fire under your ass. Why does bro have a tactical knife on his belt? It's not that serious. <laughs> to go back and start doing man shit. As a 12 year old, what shit do you have to get together? I'm so confused. <laughs> let's step up and be men. Like doing hard shit all the fucking time. Find something hard to do every fucking day. Find a big hard thing to do every fucking week, even bigger every month. Say less. I'll find a big hard thing to do. Set some big, ridiculous, stupid hard shit to do every fucking year. Like step it the fuck up. This is not hard. That wasn't even cold. It's a couple of ice cubes. Step it the fuck up. It's your responsibility, your duty as a men that are leading this country. These guys try to be so heterosexual, yet they wind up being so homoerotic in the process. And out of hope if this is the best we have. We need to step it up. Can I get your commitment to step it up? Yeah. I'm not committed. Bro's got two different color shoes on. Can I get your commitment to step it the fuck up? Yeah. Repeat after me. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you're hearing that correctly. They're yelling, kill me. Instead of spending $1,900 for a wannabe military boot camp, sign up for the Third Eye Global Patreon. There, you'll get access to our private Discord server, as well as every video early.